So in this quick video, we're going to be talking about Canva drafts and of course where your designs end up being saved. If you'd like to follow along or simply test out Canva, I will leave a link down below so you can either get them for free or just use them to log in. So let's say I wanted to create a new design here. I'm just going to do YouTube thumbnail. And from here, let's just go to say like an upload or yeah, sure. And we're just going to add this in here. Okay. This is our beautiful thumbnail. I am done. Let's give it a sec. It's going to save. And then pretty much this is going to end up in the main dashboard. So I just created this so we can see what it looks like here. If I go back over here, I'm just going to like refresh this. And you're going to notice if I scroll down ever so slightly, we have our recent design. So I have a lot of them here from like tutorials and whatnot. So if I clicked on this, it's actually still untitled. It's going to be the same thing. And so that's going to be where our drafts are saved. So anytime you go like to the main dashboard to scroll down ever so slightly, and that's going to be your recent designs, just another way of finding your drafts. So another thing, so like where do your actual uh, downloads get saved? What you can do is click on if, if you're in Google Chrome, that is. So click on the three dots here and go to settings right here. From there, you simply want to go to downloads. And as you're going to see, when you go to download something, for me specifically, it's just going to be under users, James, and downloads. So for example, let's say I wanted to save this, I go to share, I go to download. And then of course, once I do this, you know, that's where it's going to be. So you can actually go into that file or folder, say drag it to your desktop, move it somewhere else, or maybe you can just change the location from the beginning. So that's the very quick tutorial where you can find your drafts. And of course, once you save something where it's going to be on your computer, so you actually know how to find it. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.